My name is Diana Lopez and you're watching the Crystal Heart Show. It's the road to the 2012 London Olympics with the opening ceremony being Friday, July 27th. As a part of the kickoff, we're here in New York City where Times Square has been transformed into a festive Olympic village, shining a spotlight on the inspiring stories of the athletes that make up Team USA. We're here at the Times Square 100 Days to London celebration with U.S. Olympian and Taekwondo Diana Lopez. Tell us about this, going to the Olympics, how exciting this must be, because your family has really been the, the cornerstone of U.S. Taekwondo. Yeah, exactly. You know, I'm so excited to be here in, in Times Square, uh, 100 days out to London. It's an exciting event, and I'm so happy that a lot of people came out here to give us the support that we need in order to bring home the gold medal in London. Taekwondo is one of the newer Olympic sports, only since 2000. Tell us about it. I think in some parts of the world it's more well-known than the U.S. Tell us about building up awareness of it. Yeah, I mean, that's what the Lopez family has done is uh, build awareness in the United States for Taekwondo. Taekwondo made its debut at the Olympics in 2000, and that's where my brother, Steven Lopez, won his first Olympic gold medal. In 2004, he, he won another gold medal. In 2008, we made history by becoming the first trio of Olympians to bring home medals at the Olympics. And not only three of us, my oldest brother's Olympic coach. So, uh, you know, we transcended the sport of Taekwondo and we made it an American sport rather than a Korean sport. What did your family think when you had all your brothers doing so well when the girl in the family decides to go in. Was there any, you know, trepidation to that? Oh, it was, for me, it was self-driven. You know, I couldn't get left behind. My brothers were, were doing this. It was their sport, but I couldn't get left out. I felt like if I get left out, I would not, I would miss all these trips. And so, um, you know, I decided to do it, and I trained only with them. I trained with nothing but guys right now, and I'm still doing what I've been doing since I was seven years old. And, uh, no, they've supported me along the way. I couldn't ask for any better training partners and world champions and Olympic medalists. It combines, the Olympic Taekwondo combines the martial arts, the fighting aspect, with a tremendous amount of respect. You don't yes. see that particularly in professional sports today. Yeah, not exactly. That's why Taekwondo is so special. You know, you bow to your opponent and show respect before um, you go out there and try to rip their heads off. But, I mean, it's a good sport. Um, it builds self-confidence. You know, self uh, discipline and all these attributes that are great to have in a family. I guess you you know since your family's played such an important role in Taekwondo you're going to be sticking with this but w what do you look forward to in the future to coaching to expanding it more 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 than just you know one family dominating. Yeah exactly we want to make the U.S. the best Taekwondo uh, sport in you know showcase at the Olympics. Uh, you know, this is a Korean-dominated sport. Uh, you have Iran and uh, high-level countries getting paid a lot of money for uh, being, you know, competing at the Olympics and winning medals at the Olympics or winning world championships. But uh, you know, I want to become a coach one day, and I want all of our our athletes to become high-level world competitors. And what about not only young boys but young girls yeah, that are trying? Boys and girls. I mean, if I can do it, anyone can do it. Any girl can do it. Just have faith. Um, you know, be disciplined and have perseverance. Uh, you know, in 2004, I didn't make the Olympic team. I could have quit there and been done with it, but I persevered. I made the Olympic team in 2008. I made the Olympic team in 2012. What do you think beyond Olympic Taekwondo? Because when it got in the Olympics, it had s certain rules and restrictions. I know Taekwondo historically is much less restrictive than that when you go back before as an Olympic sport. Yeah. Do you think there could be different levels of competition in Taekwondo, some that are more that are more open than, than what you have in the Olympics? Um, you know, Taekwondo is always changing. Uh, you have different rules. You have different, uh, like, chest protect, you know, now our chest protector is electronic rather than the referee scoring. So it's always changing and revolve, evolving, evolving, and you just have to evolve with it. Um, as fast as, speaking of changing the whole sport, I don't think so. I mean, if that's the UFC, you know, you have different aspects of like uh, cage fighting where you kick and punch to the face, but 
Taekwondo is just kicking and punching. Right. And in Taekwondo, you have the aspect of respect, as I exactly. said, which in mixed martial arts, way too often you don't. Exactly. I mean, that's what makes the sport so special. Exactly. All right, if people want to follow you, uh, yeah. you mentioned Facebook or Twitter or yeah. website. What's um, the best way? You know, my Twitter is at Diana Lopez 25 and I have a fan page on uh, Diana Lopez. I think Diana Lopez Taekwondo.com, Facebook. Great. Good luck in London. Thank I'm looking you. forward to seeing uh, how you do. And I know a lot of people are going to be watching you. I hope so. Thank you.